Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about sorting arrays. And in previously, we have discussed about some of the array methods: to string, join, push and pop, and slice and splice and concat methods we seen. And we did some examples as well on the same. Now, in the in this session, I am going to discuss about uh, the remaining methods: sort method and reverse method. Let us see some examples on the same. Right here, I have two arrays, guys. One is an array which contain all the numbers, and one is an array which contain all the strings. Let us apply sort method and reverse method on these two arrays. First, I am going to work with subjects, and let me apply sort method on the same subjects dot sort. What this sort method do? Sort method by default, it can sort array values in ascending order. Now, if we can see this array, so this this is the order I have taken. You can take lower case letters or capital letters, whatever it may be. So now it is going to be sort this array into ascending order. Nothing but bootstrap will come. Sorry, first Ajax will come. After that, bootstrap will come. After that, CSS. This is ascending order, right? So now you can uh, you can print the same. I have I have applied sort method. Now I am just going to print. the same let us go and print the subjects array and see the output of it how this is going to work just i am printing subjects here please check it my output will be like this now you can see your output of the array will be Sorted in ascending order. Can you see ajax bootstrap css html jquery and javascript this was sorted now I want to sort the same array in descending order, but we don't have any method to sort the array into descending order. But we have to use the two methods combination here. One is reverse method, so one is sort method. By combining these two methods, we can sort array values in descending order. So before going to uh, display the array values in descending order, let me apply reverse method on my array. Subjects dot reverse. now you can see your output will be array values are going to be reversed so bootstrap jquery of that ajax this is what reverse so don't think reverse is for descending order so reverse is not for uh, descending order it will display the array values in reverse order that's the only thing actual order is this is now if you can apply uh, reverse method on the same array it is going to display the values in reverse order now if you can see the output will be like this so now array values are in descending order i mean reverse order not descending order now this is what exactly so now what i want to do i want to display my array values in descending order for that what we can do we already seen the output of sort method right uh, what is the output of sort method sort method sorts array values in ascending order now the sort array is sorted in ascending order apply reverse method on the same so we can check it guys now i am going to apply reverse method now first we are sorting array in ascending order after that sorted array the same array i am going to do reverse now what is going to happen definitely this is what the output we expected and we are getting this is descending order so by default sort method sorts an array in ascending order that means array elements in ascending order if you want to sort them in descending order we have to use combination of reverse method and sort method this is okay now we have applied on an array which contain all the string values now let me apply the same on a numerical values this is numerical array but see this sort method will work very properly on the string values if array it contains string values it will work properly but when it is having numerical value then it is going to produce some different outputs guys here let us see the same here now i am going to apply sort method on this uh, numerical array right now you can see i applied sort method after that i am just going to print it error just i'm printing it check it carefully your output will be actually what is the output we are expecting first we have to get a 2 after that we have to get 4 after that 10 25 55 100 this is actually the order we are expecting but we can get some different order i'm expecting your order will be like this 1 sorry 10 after that you will get 100 after that you will get uh, 25 i'm expecting uh, 25 after that you can get as 4 comma 55 this is the order i'm expecting can you see so what is a, what is your output you will be i think so here you will get a 2 also and a 2 and a, uh, 
and uh, one more thing is that's it i i'm thinking let us see the values will be at the here also we can get four also guys here we have to take four and 55 let us see what is your output i'm expecting this is so can you see the output was the same order guys can you see after that 10 100 225 and 4 and 55 so i missed 25 here anyhow so this is what the output exactly we are getting this is i expected the same we are getting sir actual order what is the actual order we have to get here 2 4 and a 10 and 25 55 100 this is the output we are expecting guys here what sort method will do sort method will consider every element of an array as a string so this is order see when it is comparing so this is 25 and this is a 10 which one is uh, smaller we know that so 25 is smaller and all but here if we can compare 100 and uh, uh, 25 so which one should come here see first value 1 and 1 this is coming guys after that second so this is coming 2 after that 25 is coming first value is considering and it is giving the output after that uh, 55 so uh, and 4 after that 55 finally so a yes, series will come this is 1 after that 1 after that this is 2 and this is also 2 after that this is 4 and this is 5 guys the first value only it is considering it is displaying the output as a some different manner I mean every value is considering as a string in the sort method so how can we sort uh, numerical arrays if an array contain numerical values how can we sort by default I applied sort method it doesn't work for me the output was different I expected some output but I am getting different output now how can we get how can we sort uh, the array which contain numerical values let us see guys that's the reason we have we are going to discuss about a compare function what this compare function will do so the compare function will compare every at a time two values of an array like this it is going to repeat all the values uh, two values at a time like this the array is going to repeat it uh, for all the values and it is going to sort it guys let us apply compare function here for the same arr dot sort for this sort function we have to apply we have to pass compare function the compare function will be like this guys it is a callback function here so we can have two parameters a comma b you, not only a comma b you can take any values there here so simply in this function they are going to write written a minus b that's it this is compare function now you can check your output earlier we tried but we didn't get it now i am trying with this now arr can you see your output will be in a proper manner that is it is the output we got earlier now if you can refresh and i am getting the output properly two four ten 25 and something like this okay the same i want to get it in descending order now we are getting the same in ascending order let me get the same in descending order as well if you want to get descending order the only thing is here you, you just written a minus b now i am going with b minus a now you can see your array will be in descending order guys this is what exactly the compare function is working but i want to know sir what is this a and b what this a and b contain why should we write b minus a or a minus b so we seen if i write a minus b i'm getting some output if i write b minus a i'm getting some output guys right remember carefully i told you compare function will compare two values at a time first it is going to compare guys here so what is the first it will take first two values of an array first two values of my array are one is four and one more is ten so this is how the it will store the values of b value is for a value is four and b value is ten now it is coming here so if we can write here a minus b can you see now a minus b so now all of you check it carefully a value is four minus b value is ten like this it is going to compare each and every value in the array two values at a time right if, if i sum this i mean if i if i can calculate this what is written a minus b 4 minus 10 it is getting some negative value what is the negative value i am getting something called minus 6 it is negative value there are, here the result is important guys here in this if the result is negative remember carefully if the result is negative a is sorted before b and if the result is positive b is sorted before a if the result is zero no changes so nothing will be guys simply one thing i'm just uh, remember carefully so when we are subtracting 
the first value and second value if the result is negative a is sorted before a before b i mean a value will be sorted before b value and if the result is positive b value is sorted before a value this is what exactly the output guys like this the uh, the compare function is going to iterate each and every value in the array and it is going to display the output this is exactly the compare function guys so it is going each and every value is going to compare so every time we are going to it is going to take two values here uh, 4 4 minus 10 4 minus 2 4 minus 25 it is going to compare each and everything 10 minus 2 2 minus 25 and uh, 25 minus 100 and 100 minus 55 like this it is going to compare each and every value based on that result it is going to compare the it is going to display the values guys now can you see your output was like this this is compare function when we are having numerical uh, uh, when you are having an array with numerical values we can go for compare function if you have just a string values then we can go for uh, normal sort method and uh, if you want to go with the uh, descending order, you have to use the combination of sort and uh, reverse methods, both guys here. Okay, this is how we can sort array values. Not only uh, arrays, guys, we can also sort objects as well. Uh, let me get, let me create an object and let me show you how can we sort objects as well. Here, I have already uh, readily available object is there. I created this object just now. So let us take this object. Let us sort this object, guys. This is object which contains some persons, uh, person names and and their ages I want to sort this array based on their age so can you see there are different different ages are there I want to display these objects based on their age in ascending order or descending order for the same we have to go for compare function not only for numbers we can go for objects as well can you see how we can apply the same my array is persons persons dot method is a sort in this we have to use compare function function so we can take two parameters here x comma y earlier we taken a comma b now i am taking x comma y here you can take any value but the thing is here x contain first object y contain second object here we have to talk about objects not the values earlier we have values 10 20 something like this now here x contain first objects y contain second object like this each and every object is going to be compared here now we have to return all of you check it carefully x dot age minus and y dot age then what is going to happen you know the array will be sorted in ascending order based on their age age in the sense ascending order in the sense i need to get 15 after the 25 27 32 and 95 this is what let me print it actual array this is after before sorting you can check it so just i want to print my array here i'm not applying any sort here just for the confirmation i'm printing what is the output of this console.log persons can you see your output will be like this as it is you are getting guys here this is the actual object i created array of objects so this is 32 25 95 this is exactly i created in the same manner i am getting the output here now let me apply the sort function here i am applying sort function and here x contain first object y contain second object like this each and every object of an array is going to be compared now if you can refresh we can see the array in different manner can you see my array was sorted now now can you see this is 15 25 27 32 95 not only for numbers and we can apply sort function on the arrays as well if you want to see the same in descending order simple thing so y dot h minus x dot h the same we did earlier right for the ascending order and descending order the same i am also doing here y dot h minus x dot h if you can refresh now can you see your output will be 95 32 27 25 and 15 so this is how the sorting functionality will work guys right so in the next session we are going to discuss about uh, some of the uh, array iteration methods let us discuss those methods as well we have something called map method for each method filter method and uh, reduce uh, every sum such a methods are there guys those we are going to discuss in the next session and one more thing one more important methods two more important methods are there index of and lost index of also we have to discuss about this this is also very important how can we find uh, an element is there in the array or not by using index and index of thank you guys in next session we can discuss about those thank you all